Hi everyone, this is Evan Noise. Welcome back to this Story of a Song series. Today I want to share another episode about my song Hold On, radio edit, the short version of Hold On. If you want to know more about why there are two versions, a long one and a short one, I had another story about that and you can find it on YouTube, you can find it on my website or uh, on socials, so just go there and you'll find there. I tell you how to reach this at the end of this video. Today I want to do something different and tell you why and how I created a remix, the Sunset remix of Hold On Radio Edit. As you know, I did various remixes of some of my songs based on the great pieces of advice, the great suggestions and help of a music supervisor based in LA. If you don't know who a music supervisor and what's his or her job, here's a short reminder of that as I had discussed that in a former video. And uh, for those who don't know what a music supervisor is, these guys are the ones who are responsible for choosing, selecting what music is gonna go on what scene in uh, every TV show every movie, every ad, anything related to visual image plus music, whatever music it is, that you guys watch all the time. And very, very, very often you got songs on movies or in TV shows or on ads, etc. So who chooses these songs? Well, that's a music supervisor. Maybe he or she has the final say sometimes, or he or she proposes a few songs for a given scene to the director and the director is going to be the one who finally decides upon that. But anyway, these guys are critical to this decision making. That's key to know. The other thing is that the one I was working with on that is, is really a top guy. Uh, he's worked on major projects. You all know he's done a lot of things. And I was uh, super lucky to be put in touch with him and to have a chance to uh, work on that. And what that work was, was to pick some of my songs. The challenge was three months, three songs at the beginning. And actually what he did is that he picked four in the end instead of only three. The work we did is different on each and every song, but with always the same major goal in the end in our minds, which is make sure that these songs which I had already created, produced, written, etc., recorded, and even released for some of them were remixed to better fit this purpose of fitting them to television or to movies, etc. So among the songs I worked on with this music supervisor in order to better fit them for use on TV series, TV shows, movies, you name it, he was very much liking Hold On, the long version of Hold On. And therefore I remix based on these uh, suggestions, the whole long version of Hold On. But I currently have only released a new radio edit of this long version of Hold On. On. So that's why it is Hold On Radio Edit Sunset Remix. Because I want it to be easy to listen to, not too long, for all the reasons I've explained in another video. And I will release the long version of that remix later on in an album that will be out in a few months from now. So what's different in this Sunset Remix of Hold On compared to the original version? A few things, not that many, but each of them has its own purpose. The first one is not necessarily the most obvious one. This one is that I re-sung the whole song so that I could use this opportunity to also put a little bit more effects on my voice. In the original version already, I had the idea, because it fits the meaning of the song, that I would put some sort of either a megaphone or a kind of a telephone sounding type of effect on my voice so that it sounded a bit like, not fully like, but a bit like it was coming out of a phone speaker or a megaphone when you hear that from somewhere else. And the reason being because the whole meaning of this song is about communicating with each other and the difficulty of that. And I felt it was fairly well fitting that. So what we did based on this music supervisor's suggestion was to enhance this and emphasize this by adding a bit more effects onto my voice. But it's still pretty close to the original version. But yeah, there is a slight difference in that field. That was enough to have this little 
will change in the whole mood, the whole atmosphere of the song, and, and you don't necessarily have to do a lot to achieve a difference. That's one. Second, I worked also on another whole set of drums. As I was telling you in another video, this song is already a mix of electronic drums because it all starts in a first part which is very much electronic trip hop kind of vibe etc and some actual drums some rock drums and I added more of that so that the rock drums coming quicker earlier in the song you won't know that if you only re-listen to the radio edit version because the radio edit version is only the rock part of the song which comes later on but it starts earlier in the song and this rock mood is emphasized by a lot more presence of rock drums and more of these rock drums being there. So that's a second difference. A third difference is that I changed part of the break, which is in this rock part of the song, this break going back to an electronic mood for a short while right before the end choruses. And I changed that because I changed the ending as well. The reason I changed the ending was to build on an idea of this music supervisor, which was how to end the song. The original version of this song is actually having the main rock guitars theme played once alone, nothing else. No drums, no bass, no other instruments, nothing. And that's the very end of the song. And once this main theme, which is a set of chords, is played, there is a long ending note of these rock guitars. And that notes sustains for a while and fades away. That's the original version. It actually is not the whole of the original version because then this song was put into my first album, the Fools of Us album, which is a flow from one song to the end without any pause in between them. So actually all this is then mixed into the next song into the album with a few little funny things as well on top of that. And you can hear that if you listen to the Fools of Us album. But in order to be used in isolation, I was a lot simpler in the ending and I was having this sustained guitar note. And the music supervisor said, hey, a cool idea could be to kind of create some weird out of the blue thing which would you know, be a kind of a set of other sounds coming in, but they are weird and they are just there for a little while before they disappear. Now, if you listen to the new end of Hold On Radio Edit Sunset Remix, you will hear that and you will instantly understand what I mean. It's a lot easier than telling this with words. And the way I did that is partly, not only, but partly using a specific set, actually several sounds, but a specific set of sounds of detune Pino, on purpose, pinos which don't play on tune. And in order for this not to be too big a surprise to the listener, and just be strange because it would appear just there, just once at the very end, and you don't understand why, I found out that the right way to do that was to introduce the listener to these sounds, but in a kind of, you know, it's like when you cook, you don't want to put too much salt into something, especially if what you do is a kind of a sweet thing. You can put some salt because it enhances the taste but you have to do that very sporadically so that's what i did i used these sounds in very minute elements in that break right before the end chorus and in the end chorus as well in the background so that when they become forefront doing something different by the way uh, from a melodic standpoint at the very end, it's not a surprise. You've already heard this sound. It was not present. It didn't bother you, even if it's detuned. It's out of tune on purpose, but it was so minute, so there, but not there. That So it was not bothering you, but you are already used to that when you come across them in the very end. So that's how I, I did that, and that's why I did it this way. Yeah, so that's about it, about the changes compared to the original version. And that was a lot of fun to do. I love doing these kind of things. And I loved these suggestions of this music supervisor. I think the end result is really different from the original version. And I really love that new version as well. It's great. It was a lot of fun to do. It's a lot of fun sharing this with you as well. I really enjoy that. If you want to know more, you can watch more 
or learn more, listen to more on my website. You have the URL at the bottom of the screen. You can also follow me on my socials. And if you follow me, I will follow you back. That's one thing. You can also be aware when I post something new and there is a new story coming in or whatever, or a new music, or you name it. And if you follow me on socials, make sure to DM me if you have a question or if you have a comment and I'll answer. I will love doing that as well. And you can also watch more of these videos or the official song videos, the whole thing about my videos on my YouTube channel. Here you have a short link to it on screen and you can subscribe to my channel. Please do so. Hit the bell to be notified when I add a new video or something and comment. And again, I will make sure to answer you and I will love doing that. Okay, I uh, hope you have enjoyed this little one. I did enjoy putting it together and sharing this with you guys, these stories. And I hope we see each other in another episode. Enjoy your day. Bye now. No, I don't.